guys um, welcome I want to do to this tutorial to show you a little bit um, how to use Kubernetes and how to deploy and uh, how to access the website that you deploy and this is a tutorial for the capstone of the cloud ops now I agree so well I uh, hope this is helpful and yeah. so well, first let's go to the project okay we go inside and well I think the first thing that we need to do is well first uh, build so docker build you put the tag and then the name that that you want to put right so I don't know first repo and the dot to say that in this folder so you run that and it builds the image okay the images that I have are these ones docker images so yep look so this is the image that I created the S2 and and well then when you do that you push it so docker push and the name so docker push this one and you push it okay after that and well we're going to do this deployment first in minikube locally so uh, the idea is if you are able to do it locally in minikube in your own machine you're going to then be able to do it on on aws okay so the you first need to do this milestone of doing of being able to do all of this in your local machine and if you um, achieve that milestone then you can do it in amazon but one of the most frequent mistakes that students have is that they go straight to Amazon to AWS and well that's more difficult to debug and, and to test and more expensive okay so so uh, well minikube if you want to know how to install minikube you just put minikube and minikube install you know I'm going to put this uh, on the video these references and that's it you know so sorry this is in Spanish here is in English and you follow so it's if you're let me say gin, 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 okay well you follow the instructions okay so instructions for Linux Mac Windows I have Mac so well so we continue so minikube start and what this does do is that if there is a well it starts a cluster if uh, if, it's, if this is the first time then it's going to take a while if it's not then it's just going to restart the cluster that well was was stopped so let's wait a little bit this usually takes a little while until it uh, well runs but no problem let's wait yeah guys I think that well this can take a little bit so you know my advice is just fast forward this part of the video until this um, like starts and, and so you don't have to wait Okay, look, almost launching Kubernetes. I think we're almost done.
Okay, done. So now what do we need to do? Uh, well, we need to deploy our, our code. So basically in here, I'm going to show you the code. Open downloads here and in the deployment. So uh, we need basically the easiest and cleanest way to do it, in my opinion. And the easiest way to control everything and understand it is using the apply command in kubectl. And uh, what you need is well, you create a deployment. A deployment is basically just a resource that um, is in charge of creating and managing the pods um, and this will yeah, manage and the pods and the pods creation basically and the service that is um, the resource that uh, is going to expose externally uh, your service so that you can uh, interact uh, externally from it okay okay so as you see uh, everything is here as well so let me okay, let me do it. So uh, well, one thing that I need to do is first I need to put my image. So I put my image here. Done. So I save, and that's it. So ls. Let's I go into the deployment. Uh, ls yeah I have there and well in this case I just have to run deployment you know but usually what people do sometimes is they divide they put the deployment in one file and they call it deployment.yaml and in another file they create a service to yaml and put the service but in this case because it's just one file you just need to run this one time so well yeah let's verify first I want to verify uh, if there are any services running so could steer services at services oh well is this is just the normal kubernetes service so nothing and let's see if there's a, there are any pods no so this is what we expect right now and uh, nothing at the beginning uh, and now let's run it so it's going to be a uh, cube ctl apply f and the name of the file that we want to use. So let me see, yeah, this one, and run. Okay, as you see, it's run. it has to say created, verify, and well, let's, let's see. Okay, you see the new service? It's in here, it's going to say pending in this case because it's in many cubes locally and never is going, this is never going to change, okay? So let's, Okay, and let's get the pods. Okay, they're running, you need to verify this. If they're not running, then you cannot access them. And there's some kind of problem that you need to debug. After that, you need to do one extra thing. So, uh, okay, let me see, because I have here the thing that I explained the command that, yeah, minikube service, okay. So, minikube. So to be able to, in your local machine to access it, you need to do this minikube service and the name of the pod. Voila. As you as you can see, it, this is just one special thing. But it's not this is not going to be how you do it on, on AWS, right? In AWS you need uh, first of all you don't use minikube and you don't need to do this type of minikube service, okay? Um, in AWS, you just need to go until here, until kubectl apply, and verify that the services are created on the pods, and you're going to be able to access it via the external IP in here, right? And using the port. Okay, guys. So uh, if you achieve this milestone, it means that you're ready to deploy to AWS and you know how to do it. Okay, thank you, guys.